Daytona Beach, Florida is home to Hankster's Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom, America's number one choice for premier collector cars for over 30 years. Today we have a Hankster certified unit, a 1970 Pontiac GTO. Numbers matching 400. Let's check it out. So, as I already stated, it is a uh, real GTO. It is a numbers matching car. It is a 242 car. Uh, so you're looking at a 400 uh, motor in the engine compartment. <clears throat> on the uh, driver's side hood closure there, you will see a cowl tag. We'll take a photo of that and stick it on our website so that you can break that down if you would like to. The uh, power brake booster there on the driver's side firewall, that tells you the car is equipped with power brakes. And of course we have a power steering reservoir because the car is also equipped with power steering. <clears throat> when you are looking at any piece of our inventory, and you're wondering if the car has air conditioning or not, you need to look at if there is an AC compressor and if there is, uh, you know, if it's hooked up and it actually functions. This car does not have AC, however, the guys at Hankster's Garage can certainly help you out with that if you would like. Uh, they can get you a price to add uh, air conditioning to this fabulous GTO. Really an awesome car. Uh, the paint on this car is outstanding. Uh, you got the Ram Air hood. Again, it's a numbers matching 400 motor. Um, you do have the typical spider webbing that is typical of a GTO, uh, 70 GTO front nose. Uh, the, on this car, it's not terrible. It's very, very faint there on both the driver and the passenger side. Not even sure if you can pick up on it in the camera angle, uh, but it is there. That's about the only paint issue on the entire car. Uh, the front bumper there, besides that little bit of spider webbing up by the uh, hood closure is fantastic. Uh, GTO grill, all your chrome around your front headlight bezels, um, the nose of the car, just a real, real nice looking car up front. The paint on the hood and the top of the fenders is fantastic. Uh, very deep, dark blue, uh, the paint, Nice uniform color and clear. Uh, your Ram Air hood scoops there are fantastic looking. Uh, paint on the top of the fenders, no blisters, bubbles, cracks, any kind of issues going on whatsoever. Driver's side front fender, um, same way. Paint's absolutely fantastic. Uh, uniform color and clear throughout the entire fender. And then, uh, you know, no blisters, bubbles, cracks down low there. Um, on the driver's side front fender. There is a little bit of uh, paint touch up here where I guess the door used to rub at some point. Um, doesn't rub anymore, but uh, keep in mind that that is there. Pontiac Motor Division wheels, uh, center caps, beanie rings, um, everything looks in real nice shape. Uh, raised white letter BFGs accent the car uh, perfectly. Front windshield, clarity, awesome. No cracks, chips. Um, nice uh, moldings, uh, you know, chrome moldings throughout the entire, uh, encompassing the entire front windshield there. Those are uh, in great shape, installed properly. Chrome's not, uh, you know, pitted or coming off the windshield. The uh, top of the car, uh, again, real nice paint, uniform color and clear up top. Uh, no clear coat fade or any kind of uh, debris or water spots in the paint whatsoever. Glass clarity on the car throughout the entire car is uh, pretty nice. Uh, driver door glass, quarter window glass, uh, both have uh, you know pretty nice uh, clarity there. You do have dual chrome mirrors on the car, one on the driver door, one on the passenger door. Down low you have that aluminum rocker molding. Those uh, both look to be in pretty nice shape, driver and passenger. And there are no paint issues going on at the bottoms of the fender, door, quarter. Real nice paint. And then the door sucks in nicely here to the rear quarter. Fits nice and flush. Good body lines on the car here. The uh, fender, door, and quarter all line up real nice. Take a look in the car. Starting with the driver's side door panel. Uh, real nice shape. Uh, carpeting at the bottom of the door is in nice condition. It's not falling off. Bottom of the panel is not all warped. Armrest isn't falling off or torn. So it looks good uh, on the driver's side door panel. Let's take a look in the back seat here where you have OEM seat belts. All of the vinyl in the car is in real nice shape. Nothing's ripped or torn. Nothing's discolored. The uh, headliner in the car is in real nice condition. Driver's seat. 
No rips or tears in the vinyl. Again, OEM seat belts up front. Those are real nice belt. They're not the cheap part store belts. They're really nice, uh, expensive factory belts. Uh, real nice, expensive floor mats too. These uh, Pontiac rubber floor mats. They're over 200 bucks a set. I mean, they're they're not cheap, and they're in this car, and they're nice. Uh, carpeting underneath the floor mats. Nice condition. Uh, it's a center console car, automatic. Great looking car inside and out. This one will sell quick. How about the rear quarter on the driver's side? No paint issues, high or low. This, uh, there's, we have about 62 cars in our building right now. And um, this is definitely probably top five in the building in terms of paint. It's a real nice paint job on the car. This wasn't the uh, Mako special. Uh, the glass clarity out of the rear windshield, real nice on the car. You know, a couple faint scratches, which is typical of a rear window on any vehicle this old, unless it's been replaced, and most of them haven't because, you know, kind of leave it alone. But uh, deck lid, tops of the quarters there, real nice condition in terms of paint. There's no uh, blistering, bubbling, spider webbing, cracking, nothing. All your GTO um, decals. You know, there's one on each fender, there's one on the deck lid here. Those are in nice shape. Chrome on the rear bumper, real nice. No uh, rust, no chrome peel, no uh, pitting or patina. Check out the trunk. Simple, right? Trunk mat. Uh, there is some documentation in the trunk. So uh, we do have PHX stocks coming for this car. Uh, the person we bought them from forgot to include them in the car. They mailed them. Um, so they're going to be here like today or tomorrow. We will get those up on our website just as soon as we can. Um, so they will be included with the car when we send the car. I wasn't going to hold up the presentation on the car over the PHS docks. It's a numbers matching motor. Um, you can see the still photos on the website of the PHS docks um, when we get them, which will be soon. Uh, trunk pan in the car is real nice. No issues there. But that documentation is just some miscellaneous receipts and whatnot. There's nothing in there of significance that's worth showing you that pertains to, you know, when the car was painted, when the motor was rebuilt, tranny was rebuilt. We don't have any of that information. Uh, if we did, I'd share it with you. Rear quarter on the passenger side, again, uh, paint is fantastic, high and low. Get a look at the body lines down the side of this car. There's no waves in the doors. Uh, fenders, quarters. So when you uh, are in the classic car hobby or in the classic car business and you hear, you know, somebody say, well, how straight is the car? You know, what they're referring to is the when you're looking down the side, the body panels, you know, if you see a bunch of waves in the doors or the quarters, it tells you the things, you know, had a little bit of subpar workmanship in terms of body work, but none of that going on with this car. So rear quarter, passenger side, passenger side door will pan here. Uh, low to show you that there's no issues as far as the paint is concerned. Uh, it's exceptional paint on the car. Just uh, I can tell it, several layers of color, several layers of clear. Um, the, 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 just a deep dark blue that really stands tall in our showroom. It's one of the cars that you walk in and you recognize like, holy cow, look at that thing. All right, passenger side door panel. Um, just as nice as the driver's side was. You know, your little GTO emblem there up top. Carpeting at the bottom of the door panels in nice shape. The interior of this car is fantastic, um, just like the exterior of the car. I mean, uh, driver's seat, passenger seat, back seat, center console, carpeting, floor mats, just uh, really well put together. Uh, pretty much how we bought the car. Um, we didn't really do much to it in terms of uh, any type of interior or exterior work. You know, we put it through our shop, certified it for you guys. Um, but you can tell this car uh, was well cared for uh, during its lifetime, which is why it has the original motor in it. Uh, passenger side door, passenger side rocker panel cover, you know, everything's in real nice shape um, down there in terms of uh, paint and the condition of the uh, rocker panel covers. <clears throat> I mentioned earlier your GTO emblems, you know, those are vinyl, they're stuck on there. Uh, they're not faded, cracked, peeling off. Uh, we got newer, newer tires. We'll check the condition of those when they're up on the lift um, here momentarily. You have uh, beauty ring center caps. Everything looks in real, real nice condition. 
1970 Pontiac GTO with a numbers matching 400. We're going to put it up in the air and we're going to check out the undercarriage of this car and then after that we'll drive it for you. Everything I am doing in this video presentation you can do yourself when you visit our showroom and that is what I encourage you to do before buying this GTO. We are in an awesome business. We get to buy, sell, and trade classic cars and collector cars all over the globe. In doing that, um, you know, we're dealing with 30, 40, 50 year old cars. They're not new. They have cosmetic defects. They have mechanical deficiencies. You know, we try to offer full disclosure in our video presentations and pr try to provide you with as many photos as we possibly can. Why do we do this? Because at the end of the day, we are an internet based business. We conduct the majority of our transactions sight unseen. We've been doing that for 30 years. You know, our PA location, we have a, a location, a showroom in Pennsylvania as well. Gary's been up there 30 years. Uh, you know, we've been down here in Daytona going on nine. We move a lot of units between our two showrooms, so hopefully our longevity in this business tells you something about our business model, the kind of quality of product we put through our showroom, and the level of customer service we offer before, during, and after the, each sale. But nobody's a better judge of how to spend your hard-earned dollar than you are. If you're a more specific or particular buyer or you've never owned a classic car before, before you pull the trigger, wire us money, finance this car, I encourage you to visit our showroom and check it out for yourself. That way you're not just taking my word for it. You were here and you experienced a car for yourself. Plus, we have a beautiful showroom. We have a car show every day. We have 60 to 70 cars on hand, most of which we own. We have a friendly and knowledgeable sales staff. We have a cool little gift shop. And uh, we are in the heart of it all, Daytona Beach. Five miles from the speedway, a couple miles from the beach, a lot of cool restaurants on the water, things to do here. So uh, maybe make it a little weekend trip. Secure yourself a 1970 GTO and spend a little bit of time in Daytona Beach. Let's put our GTO up in the air and check out the undercarriage, and then we will do a drive for you to show you how the car runs. Underneath our 1970 Pontiac GTO, you have disc brakes up front on this car. Passing the cross member, you can get a good visual of the front of the pan. Everything looks to be nice and dry at this time. Car does have headers on it. The headers look good. They don't seem to be collapsed or punctured in any way. So that's a good thing. Tranny pan is nice and dry. Speedo cables dry. Let's check our tail shaft seal back here, see what's going on there. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that looks dry to me. Uh, cross member supporting the transmission up's in nice shape. No holes in it that are not supposed to be there. Frame rails on the car and the floor pans look fantastic. Let's take a look here at the driver's side frame rail and floor pan. That looks really good. Passenger side is the same way. I don't see anything patched, sectioned, siliconed. So uh, we look like we're in good shape as far as our floor pans are concerned. Coming off the headers, you have like an X-pipe exhaust system, a uh, set of mufflers. Uh, everything in the exhaust looks good here. Uh, no uh, holes, uh, no leaks out of any of the welds that I can see. Uh, looks to be pretty good. Uh, Magnaflow mufflers. The tires on the car are from 2023, so you have plenty of tread. Uh, those of you not familiar with tire wear, there's your wear bars down there buried deep in the treads. That tells you how much life you have left on the tire. Uh, we looking good here on our BFGs. Um, and there's no dry riding or cracking either between the treads or in the sidewall. Gas tank looks good. That's not uh, punctured or, uh, you know, caved in. I see them dented all the time. I'm not sure how that happens, but... Uh, this one's in good shape. You got drum brakes in the rear of the vehicle. <clears throat> the uh, frame rails going to the back bumper here, those look to be in good shape. No issues going on there. Pretty awesome car. 1970 Pontiac GTO. We just sold a red one that's heading to the state of Utah. Let's talk about payment options for this car. If you are a cash buyer, we accept cashier's check from your bank and bank wire transfer. If you are financing the collector car lenders we work with, we'll do five to 15 year loans on these vehicles. 10% down of the purchase price is required. So if you are talking about a car that's 40 grand, 
you're talking about $4,000 down out of pocket. You can put down more if you would like to, but the lenders are going to require a minimum of 10% even if your credit score is perfect. If your credit score is not so perfect or your debt to income ratio is a little higher or you can't prove some of your income, uh, they might even require you put 15 or 20% down, but that's between you and them. We have no say in that whatsoever. Once the vehicle is funded in full, we put the vehicle through a pre-delivery inspection. They are old cars. Anything can start leaking, stop working, malfunction at any given moment. Therefore, we put the car through one last shakedown prior to it leaving our facility. Once it's green lighted through our service department, we, do, uh, we detail the vehicle and then we dispatch a carrier if we are the ones handling the shipment. We could typically have a truck here within a 48 hour window to pick the car up. However, if you are in a more remote or rural or difficult destination, allow us four, five, six business days to get your car moving. But I promise you, once we're funded, we move quickly. Uh, we know you're excited to get your new ride. We're excited we earned your business. Uh, we will get your car as quickly and as safely as we possibly can. If you are handling your own logistics as far as shipping, whether you're sending your own driver or coming to get the car on your own, we'll let you know when it's ready. Hangster's Garage. That is where we do all of not only the processing of our own cars, but also custom accessories and installation. If you are looking for vintage air, if you are looking for a four wheel disc brake conversion, if you are looking for power steering, Dakota digital dash, interior upgrades, a sound system, a kill switch, um, you know, anything pretty much that you could think of that you could hang on or add to your classic car or collector car we can pretty much handle over there if you give us the time to do so. This way when the car shows up, it's just how you want it to be. Hankstersgarage.com, phone number, uh, talk to Nate over there, he can get you some prices or kind of talk you through maybe, you know, what you want to do to your car and uh, what, what your options are. So keep that in mind. Let's set our 70 GTO down on the ground. It is a beautiful sunshiny day here in Daytona Beach. We'll take it out on the test drive and show you how the car runs. Inside of our 70 GTO, you know, I get to buy hundreds of cars a year. And uh, I know a good car when I see one. And if you are a first time classic car buyer, I would strongly suggest this car. It's a nice car. Uh, we don't have a horn. That is part of the inconvenience package that was offered in 1970. I'm kidding, of course. Um, we had a horn, it's not working now, but it will be working by the time it leaves here. How about we try what is, well, we'll stick with what's not working. The radio doesn't work. I think it's AM, well, it's FM, but it doesn't work. It just makes static noise. So if you want one of those new retro Bluetooth radios, Nate can hook you up over at the garage, call him for a price. Now we'll start with what does work, starting with the wipers. Turn signals, driver's side, passenger's side, um, fuel, fuel does work, uh, what else, um, oh, temp down there, oil pressure, A little switch there for the backup light, car idles fantastic. Real nice uh, idle on the car. Runs good. We're gonna show you that here momentarily. Headliner's good. Um, sun visors are good. Rear view mirror looks to be brand new. Dash pad's fantastic. Let's drive it, see how it runs. Inside our 70 GTO, this car rides absolutely fantastic. I mean, really a nice ride, riding, running car. Track's nice and straight. Steering's nice and tight. Steering wheel's nice and lined up. So, two things I forgot to mention. Number one, the tack does work, okay? There's your tack, all right? And this is not a Ram Air car, it has a Ram Air hood, but it is not a functional Ram Air car. Somebody started to put the Ram Air components on it, um, but never finished it. So if you want the Ram Air hood to work, it's pretty expensive to get it working, um, but it's just a cosmetic thing. I bring this to your attention because I sold a Chevelle one time and I forgot to mention that it's 
wasn't a functioning towel hood because you got to have the whole air cleaner set up and all that stuff under the hood. So it, the hood's just on there for aesthetics. It does not function. So. But the guys at the garage can make it function. It's pretty expensive to do that. But if that's your thing, you're more than welcome to do that. Brakes. Car stops real nice and straight like it should. No vibration or pulsation. We have a green light, so we're going to go. Car has good pickup. Shifts awesome. Look, just like that, we're 65. I'm going to shut it down there. I don't feel like getting a ticket today. Ruin my weekend. Temp's good. Buck 80, that's fantastic. It's about 90 degrees out here right now. So we're cooling nice. Here's 50 miles an hour. You know, the reason I take my hands off the wheel, in case you guys do not know, is to show you the wheel's not shaking, so you don't have any kind of vibration going on up front or any kind of uh, alignment issues. And then, you know, sometimes on classic cars, if things not right up front, it'll pull left or pull right. You know, this car doesn't pull at all. Tracks down the road nice and straight. Got a nice smooth ride. No vibrations whatsoever. In fact, I'm pretty damn impressed with the way that this thing runs, rides, and handles. It's really a fantastic car. Uh, the way that it idles, the way that it shifts, the way that it tracks, uh, the ride. I mean, it's just an awesome car. It really is. The paint's fantastic. Listen to that. This is what a car should look, sound, and run like. A 1970 car. Awesome. I like it. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Hangsters.com is our website. It's where you can find all the still photos of this car along with this video presentation you're watching right now. If you're in the market for a fantastic GTO, I strongly suggest you move quickly on this one. At full retail price, this vehicle includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an in... Thank you! <laughs> See, he likes it. Okay, uh, at full retail price, this vehicle includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty that covers the internal components of the engine, the transmission, and rear end. It doesn't cover brakes, batteries, starters, alternators, oil pan gasket leaks, tranny pan gasket leaks. All that stuff is on you and is part of the responsibility of owning a 50-year-old car. But your major mechanical breakdowns, we do stand behind. Is the price of this car negotiable? Within reason, it most certainly is. If we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. The warranty's good at full retail price only. No exceptions there, so you can move right past that question. Also, the shipping comes off. At full retail price, we actually employ somebody that handles arranging the pickup of the car, the delivery of the car, tracks the progress of the car until it makes it to your location. We pay the driver when they pick the car up. We vest the driver to make sure they're licensed, bonded, and insured that, God forbid, something happened that they can actually afford to pay a claim. Um, at a negotiated cost, you can handle all that like work on your own. If you are a collector or an investor, you used a carrier in the past you had a good experience with, you're more than welcome to use them. We don't make any money off the shipping. We simply provide it as a convenience to our buyers. Maybe you are a collector, you have your own method of transportation in uh, terms of like a trailer you have, open or enclosed, you're more than welcome to trailer this car home. We'll help you load it if need be. And if you're local to us here in the Sunshine State, you got one hell of a nice running car that's cooling properly. We're at, uh, you know, not even 190 yet, so we're doing good on the, uh, the temp. And uh, the thing runs absolutely fantastic. Hangsters Hot Rods is located in Central Florida, Daytona Beach, and our website is hangsters.com. Check us out.